What's good, guys? It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. All right. The Simp Chronicles and why Zion Williamson pays women to like him. Right? This is a very teachable moment. Very, very teachable. Actually, shout out to, you know, one of my subscribers uh, put in the comment section, hey, can you make a video on the Zion Williamson situation? And I was thinking about it like, nah, should I? And then the more things that just keep coming out, it's just like, yo, 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 I got to do this, right? I got to make this video, right? So when I say you are him and they are them, you need to practice that because you will end up being game goofy. You will end up just being all sorts of, you know, messed up in the game out here, right? So it's like, look, if you've never had a lot of money, then you come into a lot of money. If you don't have any discipline and you don't feel like you're him, yeah, you're going to start doing goofy stuff with your money, right? If you, if you don't get with a lot of women and all of a sudden you got all this fame, all this status, you're going to act stupid when it comes to women. You're not going to understand that a woman, like, listen, you're in a bar, a woman comes up to you and says, Hey, want to buy me a drink? And you're like, no, you could buy me a drink. You know what I mean? If you would have bought her a drink, if she would have slept with you. It's not hundred percent guaranteed, right? But a woman will come over to you and ask you, Hey, do you want to buy me a drink? Just to test you, just to test you, just to see if you're that sucker. So, okay. So we equate that now back to like making millions of dollars, right? Millions of dollars. And the chick tries to come up to you and act like, Hey, I'm all for you. I'm all about you. Your mind goes, Whoa, she's bad. She's beautiful. You know what the fuck? But at the same time, you're not knowing that she's testing you. Need you guys to understand this because I thought about it. I didn't want to make this video because I'm thinking to myself, well, a lot of guys don't have that money. So, and you don't make that type of money he makes. So why do you even want to talk about that? But hey, I can't talk about that because I feel as though I feel as though I have that money already. The way I feel about myself. So I know that when I do get that type of money, what? will never, ever, ever try to pay a chick to like me, love me, want to have sex with me. None of that. None of that. See, you can see this, this guy, right? A bunch of people watch him on the television screen, dunking a basketball, all this stuff. And, and kids look up to this guy, right? And he's still a kid himself. Dude's super young. But at the same time, it's funny how people can look up to the same person that can show them everything they don't need to do. Isn't that crazy? You, They think they're looking up to somebody, but literally they're showing them like, no, I'm a clown. Don't be like me. Don't do this. Don't do this. Listen, he got a single mother pregnant. Why? Why? When you're the guy. Status. Money. You know? Why wouldn't you want to get a younger chick that could have, you know, healthy babies, give you a, a, a great family, really be there. You know why? Because like I always say, when you watch prawn, you're not out here in reality. So you will say something like, oh, I don't want to mess with that girl. Yeah, she's pretty, but you know, she's, you know, she ain't bad like that. She's beautiful and all that, but she ain't bad like that. <laughs> So, you know, the girls that you think are bad like that, you know who their idols are. You know who they look up to? The ones that they put out there on Instagram and Twitter and all the social media as bad. So they're going to think like this. So the whole time, you know, women will be laughing in your face, man, like being fake to you. Listen, this prawn star, right, that he was sending the wire transfers back and forth to. This is why it's never worth it to pay for a woman to like you dog look everything was gravy everything was good right when the, the wire transfers were going back and forth right everything was good 
right? Soon as another chick came into the picture and he like, yo, look, 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 look. this is getting serious. You got to go. Oh, like I said in my other video, you're a loser now. Women hate when you stop giving them attention. You could just pull attention all of a sudden. What? I never liked you anyway. You're a loser now. You're do 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 do. And women are crazy, it, like crazy emotional. If you look, I'm not putting any of this in this video, like the stills, but she was literally putting out the text messages of her disrespecting him. Then like two seconds later talking about, I love you and this, that, and the third. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, while, when he first met her, do you think she was saying all that? You're a loser and da, 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 and blah, blah, blah. You're nobody, bro. You're a nobody. Did she tell him that? No, it was just, hey, oh, I know you. You play for this team, right? Oh my God. Da, 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 or probably got straight to the point, like got straight sexual with dude. But did she tell him he was a loser? Hmm. Then another chick comes out. Oh, um, you're doing all this for this chick and you got some chick pregnant or something, but you didn't do anything for me. See, look, when you deal with women, you want them to invest in you, bro. No matter how rich you are. See, that's the problem. Like I said in my other video, Disney has messed up a lot of these dudes' heads, man. The most masculine looking dudes that you think are masculine. Nah, brother. Nah. That's why I always say, yeah, body game is important, but muscles aren't everything, man. Muscles are not everything. They don't make the man. The same way, like, money isn't everything. It doesn't make the man. Driving a fast car, it doesn't make the man. You will get caught out there slipping. Being a simp. Straight simp. And I want to get back to this, right? The getting a single mother pregnant part, it's not even the fact that, you know, if that's what a man wants to do, go ahead. But you could tell that's not what he want to do. Dude is just lost. You're 22 years old, bro. Insane. And that's why I said in that video, older women prey on you because an older woman, I think that chick is probably like 35, 37, something like that. What the hell do you want with a 22-year-old? What do you want with him? What do you want with him? Now, let's reverse that. If it was like a guy and a young lady, that would make perfect sense. He can actually lead her. Show her the rope. Show her the business. Show her experience. Good experience. Now, let's reverse it back. What can a single mother show an up-and-coming 22-year-old? That got his whole life set in front of him. What can she show him? Oh, she can show him off experience, but what have her experiences? Remember I said a positive experience, like good experiences, like put like that would be able to put him into a better place. What? 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 She already failed her child. What is she going to do with you, bro? Let's just keep it. And I'm not knocking single mothers. I'm not saying that, you know, um, you can't go out here and mess with single mothers or whatever, whatever. I'm not saying any of that, but I'm saying to invest in one, to be like, what? To make all of that money? 22 years old, want to start your own legacy, your own family. Really think about that. I never want guys to move out here in so much emotion and, and, and really like females like, like that. Like you can like a chick but jumping out of the sea, like these words are used lightly, like, like, love. She's telling Zion in those text messages, I love you and blah, 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 blah. You don't love nothing. You're a prawn star. She was even trying to, you know, talk crazy about him wanting her to do um threesomes. But she's a prawn star. Type it up. She's done threesomes before. But see how, it, like, it doesn't mix. They use these words lightly like love you don't love nobody how are you gonna tell him that he's disgusting for wanting you to be involved in threesomes but you got paid to do threesomes and he pays you so you don't want to do threesomes see guys when you try to be loyal and do or whatever the hell you think is loyal with your simp mind whenever you try to put your best foot forward towards a chick it, it just don't add up man unless she's investing in you it never adds up because she's gonna ask you to do a bunch of things you know that she ain't willing to do or she's going to try to condemn you for a bunch of things that you did that she also did so it's like what but let's get back right to this point so like like you can like someone 
but not to the point where you're doing lovey-dovey things or not to the point where you're doing things where this is this is pushing the envelope of, of like are you sure you like me because you're acting like you do you love me type shit you know look you can like somebody but this is what happens when you're always in like and I only like this person so much and then you like the next person so much and you're not just being cool nonchalant like now nah, they like me they gotta come earn me you know what i mean like why would you like somebody so much to the point where like to the, to the point where you're wire transferring them so much money like that right and not only that so you got a baby mother right now why why did you feel the need to 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 be so in like with her that you go and knock her up at the same time that you're so in like with somebody else because this ain't love this ain't love on either side Zion Williamson is like a, a dude who was never good with chicks and now he's got money so he can afford to have a chick love him and when that chick is acting like she loves him he's like oh I love you back but nah really on his side it's more of the lust and that always fizzles out that always fizzles out these chicks think they caught a bag right okay they caught a bag but they didn't catch a good dude a good man you know and i'm not saying like zion williamson isn't a, a good man but he's a reckless man right now you know he can you know i don't know him personally I, so i don't want to say that that he isn't a good man but they didn't get a well-seasoned man they didn't get a veteran of a man a masculine man why would a single mother want a guy who is not masculine there's no leadership there let me get into this too right when you're dealing with a woman any way shape form or fashion you're leading her so if you meet her in a bar right and you're having a couple drinks and you want to take her back to your spot you're going to lead her back to your spot right you're trying to set up something to make something happen with some chick you're trying to just set up the date you tell her, I know this great spot in town for drinks. Be here by eight o'clock. You're leading her to the bar, to the drinks, right? How can you be sending wire transfers to her if you're leading her in this situation, right? I don't care about, you know, she needs money. That's not the immediate concern. I'm leading. If she knew from the beginning that she can't ask me for this amount of money or that she can't ask me, she doesn't even know where she stands with me to be asking me for money, right? That's how it should go because that's how I led the situation. See, a lot of guys get mad when a chick starts acting goofy, flaky, hot and cold, all this other shit. But really, a lot of the times, it's off of your leadership, the way you were leading things. And when you're leading things wrong, you have to be able to identify that, tighten up real quick, because if you don't, look what's happening. Look what's happening, man. And 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 a lot of guys are gonna fall victim to this because look, I thought in the beginning, you know, a lot of guys will never see a hundred thousand dollars. A lot of guys will never even see, you know, making a hundred thousand dollars a year consistently. Let's just start there. This same thing that's happening to him will happen to somebody like that who gets a raise, who gets a better job, you know, who picks a trade that pays very well. If you don't stay away from vices and you don't stay away from low vibrational people and you believe in what society thinks and all this type of stuff, look, you will have somebody take take you for a fool, take you to the cleaners. These chicks are hungry out here, man hungry out here they're very opportunistic they're very listen a woman as much as she wants a strong masculine man she wants a meal ticket so he could be completely beta he could be not her cup of tea as long as that money coming in she has no problem going with that option so i need guys to understand that so you never you're never going to be a mark and they're actually going to be investing in you once they see that you're so direct and they're like oh this guy's got his shit together okay I can see myself messing with this dude. But, you know, never believe in all of this goofy stuff. Like I'm saying, oh, I bought her a Birkin because she was twerking. Like these rap lyrics are funny as hell, bro. <laughs> I bought her a Birkin. Now she twerking. Close the curtains. You know, I bend her over. She's squirting for certain. Like all this stuff. It's like it's always centered on, you know, the chick being bad and what I want to do to her and what I wouldn't give to do it to her. And, you know, it's just goofy, man. 
Women should be feeling like that about you. You shouldn't be going out of your way to simp for any chick that doesn't look at you as him. Slow it down, right? A chick that does prawn and needs you to pay her to continue to mess with her. You're not him. You're not him to her, right? Single mom already proved to you that this 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 ain't yours, bro. Somebody somebody else already marked their territory. Does that show you that you are him? I mean, yeah, she can still view you as him, but I mean, look, to get her pregnant after you did that, like you did that, you let it like that, like okay. She sees me as him. I'm going to go ahead and get her pregnant now. Now you're not him. Now you're not him. There's levels to this. But when you're moving out here, that inner simp, bro, you have to kill it. Kill it. Because look, this dude is knocking down chick after chick after chick after chick after chick after chick. The City Boys page is all posting this dude thinking City Boys, we up 1,000, 10,000, blah, 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 blah. Now look. Now look. Because that simp inside, you have to kill it. And then sometimes it comes back from the dead and then you got to kill it again, I'm telling you. But here's the part of why you have to kill it again. Because you will be getting with chick after chick after chick after chick after chick after chick. And then you will bump into one that really got you feeling some type of way. Everything's on point. Everything is on point. And when y'all smashing, everything is even more on point. You understand? That's where a lot of this shit starts because you will have a high attraction. Then you're sexually attracted, right? Then you actually have sex. And now it's like, oh, once you have sex with the same chick more than like five times, that's when you're going to really experience what the guts is like, right? The first five times is really like getting to know each other and like intimately that way and, and having your bodies like really react to each other. But like after the fourth, fifth time, you're going to know if it's official or not. And look, when it keeps getting better and better, better and better when you're with a chick intimately bruh you start to catch feelings which if you can't control those feelings you will start to simp every guy who gets a lot of chicks knows this if you're getting a lot of chicks right you can have a rotation of six chicks but only one in there you're like big off of you really like her like that you don't got no problem like you know going to get drinks with her you don't have problems well, look, and this is what I mean, too. When it goes on for a while going good, you don't have a problem with, you know, spending $30, $40 real quick, sitting down, eating with her real quick because y'all like this. Like, you know, like like for what it's worth, y'all like this. Bro, I just said you don't mind sitting down, spending $40. I'm not doing no $20,000 wire transfer. Do you understand? Because I can control myself and my emotions when I'm really feeling a chick, man. Imagine that. Look. Never lead with your wallet, right? Never lead trying to be something that you're not. Just be yourself, please. And women will fuck with you. The women that are supposed to fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you. And the women that are not supposed to mess with you, they just, you know, they're not going to mess with you. That's how, that's how the game goes. But don't be being out here being game goofy. So guys, 2023, stop the simping, right? Because... It ain't a good look. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.